after this, man, I'm done talking. You know, I was at the crib, and then I, I seen somebody post, like, uh, man, they hitting the Walgreens on 79th and Racine. And then I heard, you know, Father Mike say he was finna go out there. So that's when I zoomed out there real quick. Because, you know, Father Mike get enemies, man. I wanted to make sure he was straight. You know, um, just me and a couple of, you know, the brothers, man, just help aid and assist in whatever way that we could. But um, it was more to it than just them, you know, just fucking up a Walgreens, you know what I'm saying, on some ride and shit. It was more to it than that. So I'm going to let y'all hear, you know, um, his side, man, and, and where he coming from with it. But other than that, man, I'm, I'm, I'm done, bro, for real. I just stood and watched hundreds of young people climb through windows, in and out of the pharmacy door, back door, emptied out a Walgreens at 79th and Racine. It's one of the saddest things I've seen in a long time. It was nothing about it. and poverty and fighting back against the system. This is pure young people acting like idiots, laughing and smiling, coming in out of window, grabbing everything, taking prescriptions. Some people might, their life, their death might depend on those prescriptions that are laying all over the street right now. Those young people don't know. I spent four years with others trying to bring that Walgreens in here. Those people don't know that Weeks and months ago, we tried to keep them here when they were talking about moving out of the neighborhood. Those young people don't understand. It was their sisters and brothers that we got jobs up there working. It was their grandparents who go there, can walk to there. They don't understand or do they give a damn. They give a damn that right now that store is gone. You think they're gonna reopen? They're not gonna reopen, they're gone. So when they complain about stores moving out of the neighborhood, Understand, everybody that went in out that window in those doors today, you moved the store out of the neighborhood. You took the store out of the neighborhood. So what are you gonna do now? It's another empty lot, another place that won't hire people from the neighborhood, another place that'll close down. Be real proud of yourselves, young people. Looters who are exploiting the death of George Floyd and exploiting the sacrifice and the suffering of so many people who have tried to bring change in the city. You're exploiting the pain and the misery and the suffering. The hell with you. The hell with you. You don't give a damn about this. We have no place to work. Senior buildings have no place to shop. People have nothing to do. Count yourself as the reason. You have to travel all the way uh, f further, uh, what's this, uh, west to get basic essentials. People who, who don't have a car left to take public transportation all the way west just to pick up prescription drugs that they need. Yeah. Basic essentials because they don't yes. have it. They don't have it anymore. Yeah. yeah. It's sad. There's so much that, that has been into this, this community for them to just run up in there. I'm telling you, there's no honor in that, and they're laughing at me. Somebody said, well, stay black. Nothing broken into, broken down. The, the Chatham Market on 83rd, they've been building up for years. It's completely ransacked, vandalized. It's all gone. 87th and Cottage, all gone. Um, there's a Jewel Osco on, uh, I think, 61st and Cottage. They had some vandalism that was done. They were boarding it up, turning people away. It's sad, and that's an essential store. That's a grocery store. Yeah. And it's new. And it's new. I'll see you years, years for some business open. Yeah. You just set back development. Yeah. Do you know how long we've been trying to build up this community? Yeah. Trying to encourage businesses to come here? Like, look, like, look, oh, we got a Walgreens here. You can come in. Yeah. They're like, oh, hell no. I'm not. You see what they do over there. And I'm telling you, this will take trust. The law and order. Stop the crime thing. White people and black people, upper class people. Mm -hmm. The fear will be played out now. <laughs> Trump will become the law and order. President. Yeah. It's over. They are going to. They're going to. Uh, this is shit like this going to get him reelected. Mm -hmm. No.